What's going on everybody? My name is Ben Johnson and welcome to your first Windows 8 development tutorial. In this series I'm going to show you how to actually program your own Metro style apps, which of course is the new design language Microsoft has decided to embrace for the future of Windows, uh, beginning with the new version Windows 8, which of course just came out a couple of days ago, so we're going to be jumping in really quickly and taking advantage of that app store that hasn't been filled yet at large market with different form factors such as laptops, PCs and tablets. So we're going to be jumping into that and I just want to start off by giving you an example of what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to go to the start menu and I'm going to click on the news app. And this is a great example of what you can achieve with Windows 8 Metro style apps. As you can see, we've got this massive image of Julia Gillard, the PM of Australia. Um, it's really striking. It really brings out that news article, and you just want to look at it because of its sheer size. And if we scroll across, we can see some headlines, and depending on its relevance, um, the images adjust to the, the article. And we can say, uh, click one of these and we can get some more the information of the article. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be achieving something like this but we're going to be using RSS feeds um, which of course is the format that website use to deliver and update the viewers of that content of new content. So we're going to be creating something like this, something in this layout but using RSS feeds from sites like The Verge or The Polygon, depending on what you're interested in. So before we get started, we need some tools, and I'm going to go into the desktop and go into Internet Explorer, and we're going to need to navigate to Microsoft.com slash Visual Studios, and Visual Studios is just the tool we use to build these apps uh, for Windows. So if you scroll down, you want to click Download, and if you scroll down, right down again, we're gonna we need to find Visual Studio Express 24, which is the free version of Visual Studio. You won't need the commercial version for the purposes of this series, but uh, that is there, and it's more sort of team-based for um, teams making software and that sort of thing. So you won't really need it in the future anyway. So if you go to Visual Studio Express for Windows 8, and this version is specifically for Metro style apps. Uh, there's of course the Windows Desktop which makes apps like this one here. Um, so what you want to do is you want to in click install now and that will just download it and you'll have to register it before it's to stop it annoying you, and you also have to do, uh, set up this developer account, which doesn't take long. It will lead you through the process. I'm going to launch mine now and show you what it looks like. So I'm going to launch it from the start menu, and as you can see, it's this sort of normal Windows app, and we've got these menus like we should expect. We've got our toolbar. Um, and we've also got some other windows here anyway. Uh, you may notice that mine is sort of this greyish light colour as opposed to that dark colour and I changed that uh, just because I didn't like the dark colour when I was developing it just looked too dark and I didn't like the way the text looked and that sort of thing. So uh, you can change, do the same thing and change it like I have got it. I just went into tools, options and I just changed the colour theme to light. So that's about it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next episode. Bye.